In this video, I will talk about several important business partners of Trillion Energy. I do so because I think it is good to understand that Trillion Energy is a relative small company, but the partners are all of excellent quality. So there is no joking around, it is all very serious business. The partners I will talk about are TPOA, BOTUS, GLJ, GSP, and Schlumberg. I aim to keep it short, between 1 and 2 minutes per partner. So without further ado, let me start with TPAO. TPAO is the partner with which Trillion Energy has ownership of the SASB natural gas field. TPAO holds a 51% stake and Trillion a stake of 49%. These percentages are reflected in the CAPEX investments that are made by both parties as well as the gas that is produced. TPAO has been founded in 1954, is state-owned and has started out as an integrated oil and gas company. Today, TPAO is focused on upstream activities, exploration, drilling, well completion and production. I haven't found recent numbers but about 10 years ago, the company had about 5,000 employees and had over 22 billion US dollars worth in assets. TPAO is also the company that has found the 19 TCF only a 100 miles north of the SASB gas field. It is currently drilling and building extra infrastructure to be able to deliver the hard needed gas to Turkey. Trillion has an agreement with TPAO and pays a fixed fee for operating costs. This is one of the reasons why Trillion has such low OPEX costs. This profile makes it a very stable and trustworthy partner for Trillion Energy. And one last fun fact, in 1974 TPAO has founded BOTUS. BOTUS is the Turkish state-owned pipeline corporation. It focuses on the crude oil and natural gas pipeline operations and to be fair, everything that has to do with storage, transportation and trade of natural gas and LNG. It has about 3,000 employees. I don't know the current turnover, but years ago it already did well over a billion USD in turnover. It also has its own ships and it's just a crucial player in Turkey and since it's a hub between Europe, Asia and the Middle East, it's important to the world. Furthermore, and this is very important to Trillion Energy and to us as shareholders, BOTUS sets the price it pays for natural gas. I found a nice map of the BOTUS infrastructure on their website, so let's take a look at it. As you can see, BOTUS owns an extensive pipeline infrastructure and it connects the east with the west and all of Turkey, including Trillion in the north. GLJ is one of the world's leading energy consulting firms and has a 50-year history. Amongst other services, GLJ offers reservoir engineering and geoscience advisory and evaluation services for the energy industry. Their team of reservoir engineers and geoscientists have evaluated assets around the world in various conventional and unconventional play types, ranging from conventional oil and gas to shale plays, oil sands, geothermal, coal bed methane and more. GLJ has independently verified the resources, proven, probable and possible, the trillion holds. It also did the NPV10 calculations including risk assessments. In investors' words, they calculated the value of the gas, the costs, modeled the risks and estimated the NPV10 of the company. Because the business case is sound, the money has been raised, the investments are being made and the value is going to be unlocked soon. GSP is an abbreviation for Grup Servicii Petrolier and is a Romanian company that employs 3,000 people and operates worldwide in both onshore and offshore drilling and construction. So, as they can operate worldwide, working in the Black Sea is almost like working from home for GSP. Let's take a look at a map to see where they are located. We are now looking at their corporate headquarters at Constanta Port in Romania. GSP has its own dock and on this satellite image you can see one of the rigs being moored. And here you can see the position of the ship GSP Alcor. It is one of GSP's multipurpose offshore vessels. And let's zoom out just to get a feeling of where this is, because this is in Constanta, Romania. Then when we take a look at the Black Sea, we can exactly see where it is. One moment, let me get this map zoomed out. There it is. 
In the south, there is Acticocha where Trillian is drilling. And to the north where TPAO is drilling its 19 TCF discovery and near the harbor of Constanta, there is GSP Uranus. Then when we go back to the GSP website and have a look over there. On their homepage is the news of GSP being contracted by Trillian Energy and that the GSP Uranus jackup rig is going to be used. Let's have a look and navigate to the GSP Uranus information. So there it is, if you want to read it for yourself, just go to their website. Schlumberger was founded in 1926, so is almost 100 years old. In its downturn year of COVID in 2020 it still had 23 billion US dollars revenue, had 86,000 employees and has expertise in more than 120 countries worldwide. Schlumberger is best in class and for Trillion it provides all well engineering design services and drilling support for new well drilling operations at the SASB gas field. Schlumberger services will include design and engineering of, well directional trajectories, offset analysis, casing requirements, drilling mud programs, directional tools, and the like. The initial engineering and planning should be ready coming month. It would be nice if Trillion makes a news release of it when that happens. I'm not sure if Schlumberger delivers the drilling heads themselves, but they got excellent next-gen tools themselves, even an autonomous directional drilling system with sensors, algorithms and IoT satellite connection for real-time data processing and decision-making. The video images you are now watching are from Schlumberger and showcases their next-generation tooling. It has its own orientation and analysis equipment in the drill. And with this we have come to the end of this video in which I have talked about the main partners a bit. I hope you liked it. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.